Hey guys, it's Jay here from Daxwoods Wanderer. And uh, if you haven't kind of figured out where I am, Stephanie and I are back at one of our familiar haunts here. I'm gonna bring the canoe in, do a little camping, do a little fishing, but uh, this video is actually about a little more than that. So, I've got quite a few things actually going on here. Besides us just coming here to fish and camp, I'm actually gonna be guiding a trip here tomorrow morning. Uh, my client's gonna be meeting me back in the parking lot where our car's at. I'm gonna bring him back here with the other canoe that you might have saw earlier in the video, and gonna try to put him on some big pike and big bass. But uh, even more important than that, in this video at least, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a review here on the Seekway water shoes. The company was nice enough to send them out to me, so I'm gonna put them through their paces a little bit here, you know, see how they hold up to some of the other water shoes that I've tried out and haven't really loved, so we'll see how these do. I've got my size all correct and everything. I made sure about that. And the first test is gonna be putting the canoe in the water here, getting into it, and seeing how much water leaks out of the shoes after I get in, because that is one thing that annoys me with a lot of water shoes. They kind of retain that, they retain that moisture and then dump it all right back out in the bottom of the canoe, which somewhat annoys me. I mean, I know you're expected to get wet, but uh, I don't know. I just hate bilging it out with the uh, sponge like that. So I'm gonna get the canoe in the water, get all our gear situated. Stephanie's just making a quick run back to get our food barrel. And we're gonna be on our way here. Looking forward to a really awesome weekend hanging out with her. We got some good food with us. Hopefully get some onto some good fish. If we're lucky, get that lean-to that we like. It's looking like a good day. Right off the bat, I really like how kind of snug they fit my feet. They fit perfectly. It's gonna be nice. Oh, the shoes definitely do a really good job letting me move around here on this sort of muddy bottom. I don't see the mud getting inside the shoes at all. It's just sort of whisking right off it there, wicking right off it. So it's a good start. That's time to just get this canoe loaded, get moving down river here. I love how perfectly my NRS Bills bag, 110 Bills bag fits in here. Just like a glove slots into that middle middle section there, perfect. So like you saw, Stephanie really had to take off her shoes and drain them before they got she got in the boat. I mean, you saw how much water came out of those. So that's really my first test for these shoes here to see what happens when I get in the canoe right now. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm just gonna get right in as soon as I get it lined up here. So I guess if you do absolutely nothing and just hop in, there's probably not a lot that you can do to not get water in here. But if I did what I just did with my other shoes, there would be way more water in here. This, this isn't bad. If I just shook my foot off for a second like this, I would have been fine. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Stephanie and I, we got a little bit of a river paddle here before we'll get into the lake that we're gonna be camping on, fishing on, guiding on, and uh, I guess another thing I forgot to mention, 
John from the ADK Addicts might be coming out here tomorrow and meeting up with us. So that'll be really cool if he does. But uh, yeah, for now, we're going to try to get our lean-to that we like to stay in. See if maybe we can catch a fish along the way here. And you know, just enjoy this beautiful night we've got. We had some rain on the way in, some chance of thunderstorms. But you know, knock on these wooden gunnels, maybe we're in the clear. Water's a little low. I don't know if we mentioned that. So it's just a little precarious getting through here right now. That's why you see me having my head on a swivel looking every which way. It's definitely some rocks as you come out here. I'm gonna start out, I mean, I know I've had yet to catch a brook trout on my way through this river to get to where we wanna go, but I've got a little Rapala countdown on there. See if maybe I can pick up something that way. Stephanie's got a drop shot on with a plastic crawfish. See if maybe that'll do anything, you know, you never know. Apparently last time John and Logan were here, they talked to a guy who said he caught a few northern here on the river, which I also have yet to do. So, well, that'd be cool. Just about anything would. Well, I can definitely attest after crossing that beaver dam that uh, the shoes definitely make it easier. Is it starting to rain? It's starting to rain. Oh, it is starting to rain a little bit. All right. All right. It's definitely started raining on us a bit out here, but uh, I think we're at the lean to. Well, I know we're at the lean to. Just. Hoping nobody else is up there. No, I doubt it. So, yeah, we're gonna get some bags up there, get everything situated, get dry, get warm, have some dinner. That'll be good. Love that sound. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's see what the inside looks like. Hmm. Might have actually done it a little more than I meant to, but that's still looking juicy. That's nowhere near well done. I think we're about to have a pretty good meal here. I'm gonna get this divided up for the two of us, get some potatoes on the plates, and uh, we're gonna dig in. It's time to dig in. I'm gonna sit this fire. Yeah, well, Stephanie and I have had some dinner, had some s'mores, had a few drinks around the fire here. 
it's starting to get a little bit late, about 11 o'clock, so I think it's time to wind down, crawl into those sleeping bags, and fall asleep in front of this fire here. Uh, I mean, I know I say it all the time, but I love sleeping in a lean-to. Got our sleeping bags all set up here. <laughs> Stephanie's playing with her switch over there. It's been a real nice night. Probably got a little bit of an early morning ahead of me here, so I'm gonna turn in and uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll get into some pike tomorrow. And I will catch you all in the morning. Look at this beautiful morning we've got out here. John's been out here for a while already. I just woke up, he's already got himself a little pike, he said. and. Stephanie's still hanging out up there, so I figured I might as well hop in the canoe for a bit and uh, try to make a few casts. John and I were just saying the morning bite here is never spectacular, but I gotta try. It is pretty nice. Well, as you may have noticed, it's uh, obviously just John, Stephanie, and I out here right now. I, uh, I think something must have come up with the guy who I was going to do a guided fishing trip with here today. We were all set to show up this morning, and uh, I gave him a call last night just to confirm everything up, and didn't end up hearing anything from him, but didn't think too much of it, sent him a message, thought for sure I'd hear from him by the time I woke up today, but when I got up around five and saw I had no messages on my phone, I mean, I just laid right back down. I crawled back in that sleeping bag and caught a few more hours of Z's there before, uh, well, thinking that I was doing that before John showed up and having no idea that he had been here since five, my God, I mean, I could have got out here fishing with him way earlier, but uh, we got all day here. And like I mentioned earlier, and like you've seen, the morning bite here really is just not all that spectacular. Uh, in other places that you'd go with pike, usually the real early morning hours would be kind of productive along with late at night, but here it seems like it's more overcast midday in the evening where things really turn on. That's why I was kind of surprised that I didn't get one on the way in with Stephanie last night, but... You know, just with the rain and everything, we ended up just making that beeline back for the lean-to. But it looks like we've got a pretty nice day ahead of us here. There are some clouds, so I'm hoping we get some moments without this direct sun shining down. And maybe that'll turn them on a little bit. But I'm only going to be making a few more casts out here. It's almost breakfast time. I'll see if John wants to come over and join us and... Uh, I don't know, maybe work up some pancakes or something in the lean-to. I brought fresh raspberries, and I've got some chocolate with me. Could fancy them up a little bit. You know, we'll see. Yeah, so we got camp all cleaned up after breakfast here. Got everything put away, dishes cleaned, barrels packed, and uh, I think we're going to try to get back out there and fish a little bit. I mean, what the heck, why not? It's what we're here for. So Stephanie's just getting her water shoes on and all her stuff together. I think everything of mine's down in the boat, so I'm going to head down now.
How they biting? I don't think it's a monster, but it's fighting. They've been, they've been diving in the weeds. Yeah, it's a, oh, it's a big small mouth, I think. No, it's a big large mouth. What? It's a big large mouth. Yeah. I haven't seen a bass in this lake in a while. It's a pretty good sized large mouth, too. That's not so bad. No, oh, that's nice size. Oh, look at him. He looks, he's got a boo-boo. Oh. You know, I'm with Quistos all the time saying boo-boo. Wow, a pike definitely tried to take a chunk out of this guy at some wow. point. Holy cripes. Off he goes. Oh man, I really thought I had a pike there. <laughs> I might have a pike here. I do, it's a little one. Wow, it took me long enough, oh my god. guy for sure but uh definitely a northern pike wow we really inhaled it what the heck Yeah, again, right at the boat. What the heck? He wasn't hooked. He was just gripping it in his mouth. There he is. Not a monster by any means, but still nice to catch a couple northerns. Oh no, we definitely know there's some big ones in here. I've caught some big ones. John's caught some big ones. My buddy Travis that fishes up here caught a real nice one the other day, actually. So, 
I know they're in here. It just almost makes me want to put on a jig with how I caught those last two. I, as I was finishing my retrieve with the uh, spinner here, I was sort of, before pulling it into the boat, letting it flutter up and then dropping it almost like a jig. I don't know. I don't want to mess with what's been working though, so probably just keep throwing this till it gets dark. Still though, that's definitely lifted my, uh, lifted my fishing spirits a bit. I was really wondering where the heck all the pike were. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen John catch plenty, so I wasn't really sure why I couldn't get into one, but we got a few today, so I'm feeling much better about that. We got to get Stephanie one here. What the heck? Again, about this, you'd almost think I caught the same pike three times here. All pretty much the exact same size. Same size. What the heck? So we're all hanging out back here at the lean-to. John, you're making up some spaghetti, I think, right? And over here, I'm just getting the whole camp stove ready. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some butter chicken curry tonight. What is in my pan? I gotta clean that out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to make it a little easier this time though, I've got a can of the, or a jar of the pre-made stuff. I'll add these packets of white chicken. We've got naan bread, we've got rice. I think it should end up being a pretty good meal here. Yeah, so I've just got the heat very low on my pan here right now. Trying to basically just simmer this sauce a bit. I added the chicken there. That's already cooked obviously and really it's just a matter of warming this up, boiling some water for the rice and we're gonna be right in dinner business. <laughs> yeah, I think John's already pretty much done with his here. Oh yeah, it smells pretty good too. I'll have to ask him how he does it up. It actually, looks pretty pretty good to be honest. I'm excited to dive into that. How's the spaghetti? Awesome. Yeah, might as well. Since this is so hot at the moment, get a little fire going while we're sitting here. Well, John just went back to his campsite a little bit ago. Finished up dinner, finished up dishes, got everything cleaned up, stored away, and Stephanie right now is gonna start working on a little bit of s'mores action. Almost my favorite part of any camping trip. I don't know what I like more, the fishing or the s'mores. Maybe the fishing. I could live without s'mores. I don't know if I could live without the fishing. Look at this beautiful morning I've woken up to out here. Woke up way later than I meant to, like I always do when I'm camping with Stephanie. I don't know why. It's just, I see her still in her sleeping bag and I think to myself, oh, how warm that must be. Oh, the water feels nice. 
Yeah, I better get out there and make some casts. I really should have gotten out there when we had that real, we had a real overcast morning when I first woke up. That would have been the prime time, but I was lazy. So I'll get out there now, I'll make a few casts. See if I can come up with anything. And then I'll get back in here and start working on breakfast. Something. I don't know what should have been there. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go see how John's doing. I think he actually is out there. I'm pretty sure I saw him. Absolutely beautiful day out. I really should have gotten out here this morning. I don't know. Oh, it was just so comfortable inside that sleeping bag. I was so warm. I don't know. Now it's now it's shaking its head. Oh, did it just get off? It just got off. <laughs> Or at least I'm biting them. Yeah. The only thing I'll tell you about that big... Oh. Oh. No! Oh, I just had a huge bass on. He jumped straight out of the water. His whole body came out and he spit it. I saw it. Yeah, John had a good look, good front row seat of that. You got silver on? No, copper. Nice, okay. Wow, that was a nice one. That was crazy. I'd rather catch that than a small pike. He knew exactly how to get rid of that hook. Yeah, he's been hooked before. I, I would say so by what he just did there. That wasn't one surface burst. I mean, he just kept breaching. Damn. That was nice. That was wicked nice. Ah. Oh. Well, it's getting to be about 9.40 now, closing in on 10 o'clock. I had two great fish on. I just, it's a bummer I lost them before they got to the boat. I mean, I saw that bass. I knew how good he was. I just would have loved to show you guys that. But uh, that's kind of been, it's kind of been a consistent factor on these last few trips. I've lost quite a few fish this year. But I guess that's just bound to happen when you're out here fishing as much as I am, you know? So, yeah. I'm going to get everything pulled in here, get the boat ready for us to load it up to head home later, and uh, see what Stephanie's up to. Ugh. It's probably good enough. It ain't going nowhere. Got the lean-to all cleaned up, all our gear cleaned up. Uh, actually, this was here, even though it's really not supposed to be here. I don't know. I guess I'll leave it. This I'll take out with us. Oh. I don't know. I know I said that I was going to finally take this stuff out of here too, but I don't know. I'd feel bad if I would feel so bad if someone showed up here expecting this stuff to be here and it wasn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll uh maybe I'll post about it on the forums when I get home on a couple of the Facebook pages and stuff and be like, hey, if this is yours, come get it, because next time I'm here, I'm just I'm gonna throw it out. Cause it's not supposed to be here. But that'll be next time. Otherwise, this time we've got everything left exactly the way we found it. Fire is doused out, which is imperative to not burn down lean twos like has happened this year on Elder Island. I still cannot get over that. I know I've mentioned it in the last couple videos, but I've literally stayed in that lean-to. That is awful. I don't know how someone lets that happen. I would be so racked with guilt for let it, if I let that happen. But, uh, hey, not to go off on a tirade or anything here. I'm going to get the last of the bags down to the water, do one last check around here, and 
We'll fish our way out. See if maybe I can actually get a fish on camera here before I leave. It's so disappointing that I had two nice ones on this morning and neither one of them was able to show you. But, uh, yeah, I said my goodbyes to John as well. It turned out that he was still out there. I mean, I think you probably heard his voice in the video a couple times. I, uh, I must have just missed him as he went back to his campsite to finish packing up and everything and, uh, ran into him while I was out there fishing. We hung out, talked, uh, said our goodbyes and everything like that. And now it's pretty much time for me to do the same. So yeah, I'll see you guys down at the water. bit nicer one there. Yeah, the second he sees the boat, they're off. It's a pike though. A little better one too. A little, a little thicker. There we go. Nice. A little bit nicer one there for sure. It's a very beautiful color on these guys. I love that sleek body and that mean old face <laughs> they always like to give you a nice little splash on their way out now that we're kind of nearing the end of the video here I would like to take a moment and talk a little bit more about these Sequay water shoes I was sent now that I've had a real serious chance to try them out test them out put them through their paces out here on a trip I uh, I'm, I'm happy with them I mean they're they're light they're breathable. They're very strong on the sole. I was able to walk over rocks and roots with these very easily back and forth from the campsite. Walking around in the water and getting in and out of the canoe with these things is a breeze. I would really say if you're doing this type of stuff out here and don't already have a pair of water shoes that maybe these are the ones to use. And if you would like to, I can provide you with a discount code. Uh, I believe it's for Amazon, 20% off at the bottom of this video. You'll see it in the description. I'll have a link. and. I believe either a code or a link. I'm not 100% sure which, but you'll see one of the two there. And I mean, really, I could see so many applications for these things outside of just canoeing and camping. I mean, if you're crabbing or snorkeling or doing yoga or uh, metal detecting near the water and stuff like that. I mean, I, anything you're doing, I feel like near the water with these things, really, you can't go wrong. I feel like I've really kind of put them through their paces out here. I've walked through some mucky, murky stuff. The inside stayed clean. I wasn't covered in debris and stuff when walking through that gross, mucky sort of vegetation that you have to walk through in some of the marshes out here. I'm, I'm pleasantly impressed. And uh, I think you will be too if you try them. So if you liked what you've seen here, definitely look into a pair for yourself. Uh, the sizing was, you definitely have to pay attention to their sizing chart. I normally wear a size 10 and a half men's, but these were apparently an eight, right, Stephanie? I think that's what you were. Yeah, so uh, definitely be mindful of that if you're thinking about picking up a pair. But yeah, like I said, I mean, I've really, I've got no complaints about them. I can't think of anything I would improve or change on them. And really, I, I love the color I got. I'm very happy with them. I'm very happy that they reached out to me and wanted to do this. I uh, could definitely recommend them if you're if you're looking for someone who's tried them. I could say they're good. But uh, yeah, 
Otherwise, this video really is kind of coming to a close. Stephanie and I have a paddle up the Moose River here to get back to the launch where we set out from. But, you know, like I always try to do, I just want to say thank you for watching and following along. Those of you who like and comment and subscribe, I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I mean, you guys are, you guys are what keeps the channel going, and I cannot thank you enough for it. It's been great growing with you guys. I think as I'm recording this video, I'm up to like 525 something subscribers like that. Quickly climbing. It's uh, It's been a great little journey. Hopefully, maybe we can get a few more fish on our way out of here. I'd really love for Stephanie to pick up one before we're done. But uh, yeah, there might be a little more fish in action, a little more portage in action, but this trip's kind of coming to a close. So... Thanks again, you all, and hopefully you'll see a few more fins before we're done.